my first step, they're the queens of couture, and they're going to flaunt it. Yeah. From Fashion Queens, Miss Lawrence and Derek J are here. So excited about that. Yeah. Yes. Plus, my laundry day turns into payday for two lucky audience members, and whoever matches the most bikinis is going home with $500. taking those store-bought side dishes and putting them front and center with some easy tips on how to make them taste so good, folks will actually think they're homemade. How genius is that? Yeah. Yeah. For the non-cooking ladies, um, you gotta pay attention to yes. this one. Yeah. Ladies, what's up? Hey, girl. How are you? Hi. First of all, we really, really miss our Tam Tam. She's not here right now, but don't worry, you guys. She's gonna be with us throughout yes. the show. Y'all ready for some girl chat? Sure. Okay. We live in an internet obsessed world, and I have to admit, I am guilty of it. I need my internet. I need to get my news fixed early in the morning. I yeah. get on the internet. But the magazine Marie Claire has asked readers how long they could go without internet access. And 36% of them said only one day. Oh, I'm shocked they lasted that long. Yes. Okay. Now, how long could you guys go without internet? Like for real, for real, in real life? Yes. Mm -hmm. Like 20 minutes, though. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. yeah. Real, real talk, because, you know, like, first of all, I have a toddler, right? Uh huh. And he likes to get on his iPad, right? Yeah. And look at his little ABC shows mm -hmm. and his little educational shows. And I'm here for it, you know? Because I need to get on my Instagram. What's happening? What's going on with the world? That's like the new CNN. You know what's <laughs> going on? Exactly. I had to go on a time out from, like, from the internet in general, like, uh -huh. especially blogs. Uh huh. But social media, I can't give it up, you guys. You guys, I literally, I, like, even in the course of this show, in between the commercial breaks, I'm like, can I check my phone? Can I check my phone? Right. I'm on Keek, I'm on Instagram, Everybody. I'm on Twitter. It's such an, like, it's a problem. I should go to rehab. Uh, <laughs> What's the first thing you do in the morning? Get up and check your Twitter, your I Instagram. I check what you do. What? I roll over, it's in the bed with me. I'm like this with one eye open. I'm scrolling through videos, Keek, like, just. Well, I do I will... something else at first, and then I check oh, my Lord. internet. <laughs> You can take that how you want to, right. okay? But you know, I used to be really bad like that, but Vince brought it to my attention. He was like, I mean, can you just roll over and pray first? Can you just say, oh, thank you, Lord, and then reach for your phone? And I'm like, I can do that. <laughs> so that's what I kind of do. I got the Bible on my phone. It's on the internet as well. <laughs> just say, I mean, have you ever tried to, like, just say, okay, I'm going to stay off the internet for yeah, a, okay. a day? And not so much the fact that I need it. I hate the idea of not having it. Right. Yes. 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 Does that make sense? Yes. Okay. I don't that necessarily I agree with. need to check it all the time, but there is a, like, a comfort. A comfort. Knowing it's knowing there. knowing that if I need to look at something on Google or Instagram, yeah. it's it there. is available to me. Okay, it's there. if I could give you just one URL or one go. whatever right. site you had to have, what would it be? I message. That's how I, on airplanes, you can okay. still message people in the air. And there's something for me that, because I'm scared of flying, there's something so comforting. You know, and I can chat with my mom exactly. while okay. I'm in the okay. air and she's safe on the ground. That's meaningful. I would need right. Google because Google, I could just Google and it give me everything else I need. So I need Google. <laughs> okay. Well, I definitely have to have Instagram because, you know, I'm Instagram thirsty, internet thirsty. And, you know, <laughs> I mean, I'm, I'm an addict and I'm fine with that, okay? I like uh, that. I, I think there's a lot of people that's like me. Yeah. Okay, there's different types of internet thirsty yes. if you, if you Okay, really explain wanna. what thirsty is. Okay, so there's thirsty in general, <laughs> right? Which I think who I am, right? I'm gonna click on your page. I'm gonna see what you're doing. I wanna know what yeah. you're wearing, stuff like that, okay? But have you ever met someone who's just trying way too hard though. Ooh, girl. Like the thirst is so real. It's, it's like desperado. You know what I mean? Like, like who, like, Tamar Braxton? Who? I, not me. I would have great pictures. Okay. No, you mean I'm thirsty about, on Instagram? Okay, let me tell you why I can't handle Yes. Where the boobs is out. Oh. You got your booty hanging yeah. out. You talking about the thirst trap? The thirst trap realization of okay. life. The What's thirst the thirst trap, trap is like when you put out a sexy picture so that you can get attention. thirsty attention from yes, men. Yes, honey. So oh. like you essentially put a photo and then all the guys are like, ooh, <laughs> mommy, I want you so bad. You're so hot. And then you sit there and you're like, I'm cute, I'm cute. <laughs> I got a lot of likes on this one. You know, people like that kind yeah. of thirsty attention. Well, you know who recently did that? Who? Oh. There we go. I remember that photo. Mrs. West did it. I that liked it. That was when it. she got, 
how many million? Yeah, but is that thirst though? Because I have to say, she looks amazing. That's no, a hot she, photo. Not to say that she I she's not it. thirsty. The guys I staring that. at the picture might be exactly. thirsty. Not to for say her. that she doesn't look amazing, but a lot of people were like, "Why?" So let me ask you, what? How would you feel if somebody? <laughs> if somebody what? If you put the picture up and somebody go, uh-uh, don't do that. They do! Girl, they all the do! Time. They all always time. I can take a picture in church praising God and someone's gonna be like, Jesus don't want you in his house. Like, <laughs> it doesn't matter. That's why it's your Instagram. You have to do what you feel comfortable with, what you feel confident with. Okay, let me tell you where it. I'm coming from with this. I yeah. think what, what people are saying is that you have these so-called married women that's already taken their hat, their mothers and stuff like this. Yeah. Your kids have to look at this, you know? Should they have to see you with your butt out, with your, with your boobs out, what type of message is that bringing to, you know, I mean, be, oh, I, I'm just saying, I, I, that's I what you. a lot of people are asking. I definitely okay. follow you, but I don't get that with this particular picture. Now, I can't lie, honey. I've seen some real thirsty Aquafina, Perrier, <laughs> tap water, thirst of life pictures yeah. on Instagram. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like you got to show the crack of life. <laughs> For everybody yeah. to see. Right. Now I don't. I think that was done in kind of like a real classy, a classy you know, way. classy kind of way, you know, to me. But in my opinion, I feel like a lot of women that hear people say things like "you're a mother and a wife," mm -hmm. I think they sometimes take that offensively because they want to believe I'm a woman first. All right. And because I'm a mother or because I'm a wife, why can't I still be? Sexy. I, I right. agree you with that. I, mean? I agree I with that. That's, that's what I'm saying. To say I'm a woman first. When my mom was younger, she took pictures of herself, and they weren't like this, but she was feeling it. She had a daughter. Yeah. She was, she, you know, she took really sexy pictures for that time. And I look at it then and now, and I thought, Mom, my, she looks beautiful. Like yeah, she looks so hot. hot. So I don't, I don't think it's bad. As I a child, you had a mom took a lot of pictures. Mama, mom was getting body. sexy in a totally. Polaroid. Yes. <laughs> She, she would all, yeah, you she'd be like, mind. look at me, look at me. Well, I know, actually, it makes me really sad that she, my mom didn't do those things. My mom um, didn't have that kind of confidence level growing up. She always felt really insecure. That's what I mean. About, yeah. you know, her body, and I think she, she struggled with that. And it's funny that just recently, because of my sister and I and the pictures that I take and me and my selfies, funny enough, mom, I hope you don't kill me for this, but because I think it's, it's a good message. Um, I got my mom to take some hot pictures for my dad recently. Yeah, but and, that's and the key word. It, first of all, it was a generational thing. Our yeah. mothers did not take they pictures did not like take that. Pictures like you that, know what no. I mean? That was a generational yeah. thing. And I want to say this. Mm -hmm. I don't think in order to prove that you're a woman that you have to show your body. No, no that's I not. Don't think hold that. on. No, I'm not. I'm not. No, I'm, I'm not. Saying, saying, I, I agree. You know, I said whatever is sexy to you to some Whatever is sexy to you. Sometimes I feel the most sexy. You, you agree with this. I think you, we've talked about it. Sometimes a black turtleneck to me, exactly. just face is super, super sexy. Maybe the silhouette of a woman's body. It's all body. In, how, in what it's you what embody. It's what you yes. feel mm -hmm. is sexy. But it's body. public. The difference is, like you said, it was for you my got dad. your, yeah. yeah exactly. but let's, that's, what we, that's what some people are saying. Don't get on me. No, I'm I don't get on you, friend, what people but are, some people are saying is absolutely. that keep that for you, you know, and your The husband. internet is for everybody. It's worldwide, and it's a lot and of guess, stuff happening. And guess what else is, too? What? Yes, because it, the thirsty people just don't live on the internet. Let's talk about the people that's walking down the street, okay? Yes. Oh, yes. I'm just saying. Yes. You a water bottle with a face on it. Stop. <laughs> I'm that's just being hilarious. honest. Like, a water bottle? What? Thirsty, okay? You thirsty. Oh, oh, Ain't enough okay. water in America, okay? Like, There's oh, guys, no. you mean that, like, holler at you down the street in a thirsty I know, manner? Been, this is what I hate. This is, like, one of my pet peeves. Okay. I can't stand when I go to the grocery store and somebody has on some booty shorts, a half shirt, and you can see they breasts. Where, where you going? You come, you come here to buy some potato chips and meat and some bread, okay? I don't want to see that. That's thirsty, okay? You want attention from whomever you can get attention from. Yeah, I get All you. All right? Yeah. The gym is thirsty, too. I don't have to check a lot of these little old yoga heifers, okay? <laughs> Stretching, doing, I mean, just, I mean. What they do, girl? A ridiculous stretching like in front what? of people's men. I got that just inappropriate. Like, come on, That's get your life. You a thirsty gym rat. Get it together. Baby, namaste. Do you see my butt? You know all what I'm right. saying? Doing the split. You doing, why you got to stretch to do a split? Shut up. You well, in I, yoga I, all I, week. I have to act now. You can say that 
that we're talkers, and since we keep running our mouths, we keep running out of time. <laughs> so today we're sharing an entire show's worth of brand new segments that you've never seen before. First, we're suiting up to do some laundry, and yep, my girl Tamara is in it. Check it out. Memorial Day, the official kickoff to summer is right around the corner, and we all know what that means. Hello, bikini season. Yeah. <laughs> Picking the right bikini may cost you a pretty penny, so to help alleviate the financial pain, let's send someone home with $500 yeah. by playing yeah. a bikini edition of Laundry Day! Okay, here's the deal. Right up there is our laundry bag. Mm -hmm. Once three lucky audience members join us on stage, we'll dump the contents of the bag, and their job is to go through our laundry, match as many pairs of bikinis as possible before time runs out. So if I call your name, get on your feet. Raquel Mealy! <laughs> Where are you from and how are your sword <laughs> skills, honey? I'm from Houston, Texas. Yeah. 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 All right, Iris, where are you from? I am from Atlanta. Yeah. All right, now, Ms. Rayleigh, where are you from? I am from Carson, California. Yeah. Okay, ladies, are you ready to sort some bikinis? Yeah. Together, all right? All right. right. One, one, two, 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 three, three, four, four five, five. I'm out. seen stuff, and this next one, ooh, I don't even know where to begin. Begin, girl, <laughs> I didn't want it to end. Right? <laughs> this is what happened when Miss Lawrence and Derek J, the fashion queens, hit our stage. Take a look. These two trend-setting divas have been styling and profiling for years. Mm -hmm. Known for spilling the tee-hee-hee, -hee, darling, and serving mm -hmm. some face and strutting some of the baddest pumps known to mankind. Mm. Please <laughs> welcome my good friends, the fashion queens, Derek J and Miss Lawrence. Go over amazing. there and spin our fabulous heels off. Oh, yes. Oh, I'll spin the wheel. This is like old school Price is Right, remember? Okay. 
Okay. Oh, I was, you are very oh. prim and proper. Well, thank you. Oh. So I can't imagine okay. you doing anything wrong. Oh, no, I was a hood rat back in the day. Oh, oh yeah. Back so. in the day. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's the most ratchet thing. Me, it's my clothes. Back in the day, child, I would have on some sequins booty shorts, a sheer shirt. <laughs> oh, no, that is still to this day. Well, no, back in the day, I would wear it to the grocery store, but now oh, I would okay, just go. Okay. Now I just do you it. You gotta be going club. somewhere. I gotta be going somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, mine, oh God, I would have to say, one time I had to sit in coach and I sat in the middle and I pulled out my whole makeup caboose. <laughs> oh, I did that oh, all yeah. the time. Yeah. Honey, yeah. I've got to painting and beating. <laughs> and then the little baby, the little baby girl sitting next to me. I mean, she was floored. Yeah. <laughs> oh, the title was flying yeah. everywhere, honey. OK, that guys. That is so funny. Now, Derek, we love your brutal honesty. You're very blunt. Mm -hmm. So I have to ask, yeah. is our hair, our makeup, and our fashion on fleek? Oh, honey, y'all are not? always on fleek, child. Really? And, what, and what I do appreciate about y'all is really? that yeah, what I do appreciate about y'all is that y'all not afraid to try new things, right, change yeah. it up. When we were uh, coming out here, I was like, Lord, let me put me a couple of uh, extra pair of lashes. <laughs> and let me go free up my powder and some good old bronzer. I said, because them girls be on there <laughs> dusting. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we love it. We, we do. do. Well, Miss Lawrence, we know that there's a whole process that goes into creating this masterpiece before us. <laughs> process is an understatement. Oh, right? shit! <laughs> it is a whole assembly line, <laughs> factory. Okay. It's, a, it's, a it's a full, full movie with me and my makeup <laughs> artist. I love it. <laughs> okay, Derek, there are a billion fashion shows out there, but Fashion Queens is one that the fans love to dish about. Mm -hmm. What is the secret of the show's success? Well, you know what? I think the secret of our chest is that because we are regular people. Mm -hmm. You know, we are brown skin, curvy, wide nose, gaps in our teeth. We are like, really? we, because we, you're well, able we to. We still got face We still got face on, yeah. Don't get it twisted. <laughs> but I just said, but the thing is, is that you can turn on the television, you see, you can see yourself in us. Yeah. We're not, we're not a superficial um, people. Mm -hmm. We are genuinely who we are. We answer from our heart. Lawrence, let's keep it real, okay? <laughs> Y'all have a lot of fun on Fashion Queens, and we see it. But uh, do y'all ever get on each other's nerves? Oh, <laughs> baby. OK, so here's the thing about Fashion Queen. Mm -hmm. Before we're a cast, we're a family. Right. Mm -hmm. And families have high and low moments. Yes. Um, we argue, mm -hmm. we fight, mm -hmm. but we love each other unconditionally. Right. It's never anything that's um, it's not taken mean to heart. Right. Yeah. No, nothing no, no, malicious, no, no, no. nothing mean-spirited. But we do, all. yes, but we do get on each other's nerves. Yeah, all, that's we all do we have needed to, to know. Yeah, that's we get tired. Now we don't feel so bad. Oh, no. <laughs> But th that's the thing. Y'all are like a family. I'm yeah. telling you, I noticed that. I recognize the spirit through you guys' show. Oh, thank you. <laughs> that was all right, Fashion Queen. <laughs> we know you, of all people, know exactly how to spot a fabulous heel. <laughs> yes, yes. yes. Today, we're putting those fashion skills to the test. And you know I have to be a part of that. But okay. don't worry. I'm going to make sure Jeannie doesn't get too crazy because I'll be the ref. You know, Clearly. I'm pregnant. It's the easier yeah. job. So with every gal for herself, I'll display a stunning stiletto on the screen, and you will all run over to our pile of heels and find the matching counterpart. Once you've found the matching heel, you must bring it back, but the player who returns shoeless is out. OK. OK, so let's play Stiletto Steel. <laughs> Reveal the first shoe, please. Ready, set, go! <laughs> Next round, you'll Ooh. be searching for this well, now, stylish you, you little see? number. <laughs> On your mark, <laughs> get set, go! Next shoe. Do you see it? Do you see it? Uh -huh. It's yes. beautiful. Oh, wait, okay. Wait. On your mark, get set, heels! <laughs> Oh, 
I'm sorry, Jeannie. Better luck next time. Okay, that my leaves three of you there. for this next shoe. Okay, ladies, please line back up. I'm, Put I'm your old. shoe. I I'm getting out of the Me. Try my space to roll down. <laughs> <laughs> On your mark, get set, Back up. go! <laughs> I'm sorry, Derek, but you are out of here! Okay, okay, we're down to two players. Oh my goodness, can I you take my the knee, pressure? Right. Off. I met my pants up, you buy me some new ones. <laughs> it's the real versus the queens, come what on. All right, show us the final shoe, please. Okay. For the win! Ready, set, go! <laughs> Seen segments, and this next one was super fun to watch go down. Why do you say that? Are you kidding me, Jeannie Mai? I mean, I watched an entire show of Munchkin ah, in the kitchen. Right. Oh, that's this right. is great. This Take is a look. True. Memorial Day is quickly approaching, yeah. and so are the barbecues, which I love. Me no. Too. But it also means your side dish game has got to be on point. Now, you know I don't cook, but. <laughs> I do have a few tricks up my sleeve when it comes to dressing up those store-bought sides. Ooh. You know, I'm fake it till you make it, yep. okay? Soon you'll have everyone thinking you're a gourmet chef <laughs> with your kicked up side. Hey. hey! All right, this first idea is my go-to fave. We're talking store-bought potato salad. Ooh. Mm. But it's right, you go and you pick it up. Yes. There you go. We're about to give this salad life, all right, you guys? So I started out by picking up some potato salad in the deli section. They always have that there. Yeah. Now, first of all, take it out of the plastic. They don't have to know that you bought it at the deli. What, you I made this at home. home? I do that all the time, you this guys. This was all you right here, yes. okay? Now, I'm gonna add just three things to this boring potato salad, and it'll be bursting with flavor. So first up is some diced red onion. Oh. Throw that in there. There you yes. go. Yeah, it never has enough. This one makes it super fancy and gourmet. You're gonna add blue cheese. <gasps> oh, never thought I of that. I know, trust me, it makes it really fancy. <laughs> and then crumbled bacon. Always. Ah. Crowd pleaser. Come on. Yes, you do that right there. And then you're just gonna mix those in and top the mixture off with what? Some more bacon, of course. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> there you have it, you guys. One, two, three. Bam! You're done. That is awesome. I salute you, blue cheese and bacon potato salad. I can totally so make good. that. I love that one. OK, I'm about to turn some run-of-the-mill coleslaw into a vibrant, zesty version of its former self. Huh. So I take slaw, probably in the same area that Adrienne got her potato salad, just like <laughs> this, ready-made. Take it out of the container. Then I'm going to toss in this purple cabbage in a bag that I also grabbed at the store, really easy, just like that. Smart. Right? Then I'll invite some sliced green onion, ah. texture, shredded carrots, and you guys, for a little zing, are you ready? I'm ready. Mandarin oranges, bring it to the party! Ooh, that's a brilliant idea! Right? So then you just mix it up, and I'm telling you guys, if you walk into a barbecue with this salad, people will think, because they do, that you got skills. I pledge allegiance to you. Thai dye coleslaw. Girl, you are anything but basic with that salad. Right? Thank you, Adrian. I Thank love you. the colors, too. Thank you. Saying, I'm about to remix an old school side dish <gasps> that'll like have that. you wondering where it's been your whole life. Get it? <laughs> bean. Wow. I thought it was funny. I okay, so it. I picked up some pre made baked beans mm -hmm. at the deli counter, same place Adrian went, okay? Then we're gonna dump them into a pan like this. Now I'm gonna add a can of pinto beans. My mom's favorite. 
Then a can of cannellini beans, which I've also grabbed at the store. Mm -hmm. All right, so <laughs> we're gonna add the condiments. Okay. You know, you already have these at your barbecue. Mm -hmm. they're, the, they're the staples. We have ketchup. Mm. Oh. You add about a cup of that. Okay. Mm. Okay. Then we're gonna add some some mustard. I love mustard in it. Yeah, me too. Do you think like even spicy brown mustard could work? It, that could work too. Okay. And then my husband's favorite, you guys, barbecue sauce. Oh, everybody. Barbecue right? sauce. Look at look at it's look America's at, oh heartbeat. Oh my gosh. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. Then you're gonna mix that up. Cover all this with some chopped bacon. <gasps> Ooh. Right? That's partially cooked. And then we're just gonna pop this in the oven for about 45 minutes at 350 degrees. And that bacon will finish cooking along with the beans. Then it's good to go. And here's what it'll look like when it's done. Look Woo! at that. Oh wow. Scoot over, Tim right? Tam. You smell that? This land is your land, barbecue bacon beans. Taste this, you guys. I'm in, hold on. How amazing Oh my is God. That? Oh my God, this is so good. That is bomb, right? All right, now your sides are dressed to impress, so you can kick your barbecue season into high gear with some kicked up sides. Today we're all about showing you new segments that have never seen the light of day, and this one is for all the mommies and Auntie Lonnie's out there. Roll it. In celebration of all the moms out there and the trying times we go through, it's time for Mommy Issues. <laughs> I love doing this segment so with you guys. Yeah. <laughs> and listen up, don't feel like you have to be a mom to chime in. Us nosy aunts, we like to be in a part of this too. Yeah. So we all deal with kids at one time or another. So let's get to it, all right? Okay. That's all right by me, Lonnie. All right. Okay. All right. Now I know everyone has their own parenting styles and that's cool. Mm -hmm. But as a mom, I find it extremely disrespectful when I hear kids talking all crazy to their mamas, like their mom is their peers or something. Yes. Like I have an issue with that. I'm a southern girl. Agree. Hold up. Now I know when I was younger and my mama told me to do something, I did it, and I didn't talk back, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And you know, I'm, I, it's like, I, I, it drives me crazy because it's like too many bl blurred lines, you know right. what I mean? Yes. The friend trying to be cool with the mama, and then the mamas be wrong too, because they be trying to hang out with the kids too, and that's not the business either, okay? Absolutely. She's not your friend, she's there for you to respect her and learn yes. from her, okay? Yes. Have several seats, show some respect. I would agree. <laughs> and I think what I find, now, nowadays is that the moms are like, oh my goodness, my daughter or my son won't listen to me. Right. And I'm like, well, how old are they? And they're like, well, they're 14. I'm Lies. like, well, you guys, you can't just decide to like ask your child to give you respect if you haven't been doing it since the beginning. Yep. Right. You have to start, start early. Young, make sure they know. Do not cross that line. Absolutely. I am your mom, we can talk, you know, and then, you know, I, I, I'm not your friend right now. And I would say as you get older, let it naturally transition into that friendship. That's what happened That's right. you know, with, with my mom. But even to this day, I called my mom crazy the other day. She was like, uh, you don't <laughs> okay. call me crazy. You call your girlfriends crazy. I am your mom. Make sure you don't cross that line. How do you guys feel about adults when they're in a car with a child listening to grown-up sexy music? Girl, I just learned this lesson the other day. I got in trouble by my mama because I thought I could listen to I'm in love with the Coco the other day no. when Logan was in the car. You know, I just want to listen to my ratchet music. And he's mm -hmm. at the age where he repeats everything, right? right. right. Yeah. So, you know, I had to turn it, you know, on the kid-friendly, you know, stations because that's embarrassing. I can't have that. He's too smart for that. Adam and I, we go on road trips all the time. And before, you know, I would have my music. Whereas now, I'm like, okay, we, we listen to Curious George. Okay. But, you know, I, I think because Aiden is a sponge uh -huh. right now, I definitely want to make sure, you know, what he's listening to is something that he can learn from. Right. And then that, you know, when we're around other people, he may say something and I won't be embarrassed. Right. And so I, I would suggest to get either get some nice CDs or if you listen to the radio, Disney Channel is a it's very, great. I mean, they play stuff that adults can be, you know, tolerant of. Yes. Really. Yes. Thank you, Disney Radio. Because <laughs> yes. it's like, you know, it's, it's really good. Okay, let's open up this one up to the mommies in the audience. Oh, good. Yes. I'll go. Who wants some real advice on a mommy issue they're struggling with out there? Anybody? Okay, oh, sorry, I'm Hey, 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 hey,
put on fleek and so is your face. Where are you from and what's your name? Atlanta, Georgia. Yes. Yes. And my name is Ayana. Okay. And I have two beautiful girls. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I just wanted to know, like, when should I start teaching them some money management? And, like, how should I go about it? Should I give them a credit card or should I allowance? Like, what should I do? How old are your girls? 15 and 8. Ooh, now. 15. Now would be good. Yes. You know, I was... <laughs> I have a bunch of nieces and nephews, and so how we got started, we started giving them gift cards. Okay. And um, what my sisters used to do, they used to put money on their cards, but okay, this is what y'all have. Don't come asking me for nothing, and when you run out, we have to discuss your purchases and why you ran out. And it depends on how fast they run out their money, right. if she fill it all the way back up again. Right. But, you know, they have to talk about, you know, why you made this purchase, right. do you feel like that was a good price, and things like that. So I think the time is now yeah. 8 and 15. Yes. Yeah. You, might you know what I like to do? I like to give all children a, a piggy bank. You know, mm -hmm. when they're like young, yeah, so they can learn yes. to start saving their money and get the one that they got to bust open after this school, <laughs> not, not the one they can take out. But I like to give that as gifts to, to my children. Okay. So. so is that helpful to you, Don? Yes, thank you so good, much. Good, good. Thanks yes. for coming. Thank you.